In this video, we'll demonstrate how to protect a Zojo application with the Quick License system in the Zojo plugin. We'll start by launching the Quick License application to define our license. Here we have a license we're going to call Product with a version number and a security code. We'll bring up the License Options dialog that defines the specific information about that type of license. We've set up the option so that this license will never time out. It'll allow reactivation on the same computer. It'll be a product license that when at, once activated runs forever on that specific computer. And we're going to display the runtime errors. We've set up some other options here on the activation panel. We'll enable the activation process. It'll, it'll be machine activated. And we've adjusted the calculation so that the activation code required for that machine is the same as the request number shown in the dialog, just to make it easy to test. So we've got the basics set up here. We'll go ahead and generate our ticket file. And we now can close out a quick license. We're done with that. And we can see we have a platform neutral ticket file that we can apply to our Zojo application. Under applications, go to the Zojo folder and in the plugins folder, add the plugin needed to access the full quick license runtime system. We have a little test application that allows us to launch a command. Here we can see we have a field where we can type the command. It's then sent to the runtime and the response is put in the response field. Let's take a look at the one line of source code that implements this application. We essentially take the command string and call the send function and the response is stored in the response field. We'll go ahead and compile that application. Here we have an application ready to run. We'll run it and type a command. Click the send button and here we see the response to that command. Let's do another command. The Quick License Runtime System supports a lot of different commands for implementing all kinds of uh, licensing processes. But in general, most applications can just send a single command to the runtime. Here we have an application that we want to protect with the license we defined. We'll do so by adding one line of code to the open event of the main window. Here's the line of code, which we've actually broken down into a few lines to make it easier to understand. We'll send a command string to the runtime. Here's our command string. This binds us to a specific named license. There's the version number and security code response that comes back to that command has several parameters. We'll pull out the return code parameter. If it's a negative value, quit the application, otherwise run normally. All other aspects of the licensing process are handled by the license we defined in the runtime system. Let's go ahead and compile this application. Once we've compiled the application, we can go ahead and quit Zojo. And all we need to do is put a copy of our license in the folder with the application, or you can embed it within the application bundle. When we launch it, we'll see an activation dialog is presented. We'll enter an activation code, which for the purpose of testing, we'd made it the same as the request number or like the fingerprint number of the computer. So here's the activation code we enter, and we click activate now, and our application is now running. Each launch thereafter, it just immediately begins to run. The development process works essentially the same on a Windows computer. You'll drop the plug into the Zojo plugins folder. You'll compile the same source file and output an exe and associated libs folder. You'll use the same product license you previously defined. The only difference in the process is you'll need to drop a file called quicklicenseruntime.dll that comes with the plugin into the libs folder before you can distribute and run the protected application. Let's go ahead and run the application now. Here we see the activation dialog. We'll put an activation code into the dialog, activate now, and we can see that our Hello World application is up and running and each launch thereafter immediately begins to run after validating the license. In this video, you've seen how you can define a license with Quick License and then apply it to your Zojo application with the plugin in just a few minutes. 
You can create a variety of different license types, including product, trial, try-buy, subscription, or floating licenses. To learn more about this process, go to excelsoftware.com and click on the Protect and License button.